All right, so let's get into trading. Basically, what you're going to have here on your dashboard is you're going to see some of the, the main coins that you have, and there's going to be the quick trade option. I'm going to show you how to do the, the main trade. Market is a way to look at your what coins they have on Virgo CX, and they have a wide variety. And what I like is they've broken it down to categories similar to CoinGecko, where you can see just the, let's say, level one coins, just the layer, sorry, layer one coins, just the layer two coins, just the DeFi coins, stable coins, meme coins, and uh, so on. And actually, I originally did this video. This was up at 16% uh, percent today. And I recommend that, that you don't buy that because typically they're going to come back and, uh, and become closer. So they also have the storage coins, uh, which I'm a big fan of, Filecoin and storage and the infrastructure data. This has Fetch, which is an AI coin. They're traded in and out of as well as Graph, a storage ocean protocol is another AI coin. So that gives you some access to the AI ocean here and, and Fetch. So I like that they've broken it down because it allows you to strategically get in front of different classes of cryptocurrencies. And I think that's a good idea because if you look at AI and where AI is going and also the fees that AI commands, because a lot of these AI tools, they're fee-based. So that means there's money in them and you could expect them to grow and to be a good category to get into in the future. So I just wanted to explain. So this is Solana slash CAD, and you can have it denominated in USD or uh, CAD, whichever you prefer to, to trade in. And so basically what this means is this is the coin, and then this is what it's expressed as. So it's expressed as Canadian dollar. Solana token is 125.61, and it's up 73% today. Now, a lot of people aren't familiar with the buy and the ask price. So this is the price, but you can't buy or sell at that price directly. If you weren't, weren't going to buy it, it would be 127.05. Uh, and if you were going to sell it, the most you could sell for is 123.07. Be between those things is the spread. Between those two prices is the spread. And that's how exchanges like Virgo can make money even if they're not trading. So they have that spread and they will make the difference between that um, and they provide the liquidity in order to, to do that. You also have the 24 hour low and the 24 hour high. And so you can see this is a little bit closer to the low today than to the, uh, the high. So what that means is it went up, tested and came down again. And we can put this into either candle charts or in terms of line charts. And you can adjust some of these if, if you want to. Just for the sake of simplicity, let's just look at the line chart. And the thing that I want you to really understand about trading is this this is encouraging people to trade frequently because the 10 minute chart, you're going to have more noise. Anytime that the time horizon of the chart, which means each of these data points is only 10 minutes apart from the other one, you're going to have more noise and more randomness, let's say. But when you move it out to the one hour chart, you're going to see more of a consistent pattern and more of the directional pattern. So if you are someone that's not going to be trading every day, maybe you just want to strategically buy and, and hold, then you could look at the one day chart and each of these is, is one day. So you can see the overall trend of where this Solana coin is, is going. If we look at something like Fetch, for example, we can see a similar, uh, a similar pattern where right around here, mid October, things started to, to really pick up and, and change. And if you look at the hour chart, you can see this goes back a few days. This goes back to about the, uh, the 18th. So you can see what's been happening on, on the last few days. Basically, what you're going to want to do is fund your account and you will get actually $5 when you create an account and, and go through the verification and you get another $15 once you fund the account. So that's good. You can fund with uh, cryptocurrency or with e-transfer. What I like about Virgo, one of the things I like about Virgo is e-transfer is free to fund your account, it's also free to withdraw. You won't find that with all of the exchanges. Other exchanges like BitBuy, you know, they will have charges for withdrawing your crypto. That's something that I'm not a big fan of because some of, the, some of those fees can really add up. And also for the withdrawing, they have really low fees. A lot of the cryptocurrencies, they, there's no fee for the withdrawal. Sometimes there's a small fee, 
but it's very small. But there's definitely a lot of ways where you can get your crypto out without spending a bunch of money. Now we go to trade. There's a few options. There's the recurring buy. And as I said, that's great for someone that wants to buy and hold. If you look at maybe, let's see, let's say something like Fetch or Bitcoin or Solana, and that is a market leader that's gaining momentum in the marketplace. You can just buy, not think about things, not stress, not worry about what's going on in the market. Just set a recurring buy and allocate some of your paycheck to do that on a recurring basis. Very simple. Grid tool is a trading bot that's really more advanced. It will buy and sell between different parameters. And the thing to keep in mind is if your account's too small, it's going to get churned up by small fees. So for beginning investors, I wouldn't really uh, invest in, in doing that. I wouldn't really recommend that. And there's also quick trade. Quick trade is great to, to make trades quickly, but you're going to pay the market fee. Anytime you place a limit order, you're going to have less fees because you're showing in the order book and it's helping the exchange provide liquidity. So you're going to get a break for that. So even if you want to sell right away, you can still do that with a limit order and you can go in here and, and, and do this. So right here, you can see all of your open orders. Now I'm just going to change here to storage because I want to show you here. I've got an open order right here. So it's an outstanding open order. It's a, it's an order to buy and it's at 1.06. And right now we're at 1.21. So it's not going to trigger until it hits that 1.06. Basically what I'm saying in the limit order is the maximum I'm going to pay for one storage token is 1.06684. And once it hits that, all this $70, I want to buy it. So I'm just going to cancel that. And you can see this would give me 65.6 storage tokens. So I'm just going to cancel that. And looking at storage here, I'm looking at the, what's been going on. It looks like it's on a downward trend. This is one of those coins down 11%. So there could be some room for bounce back on this, particularly because this is one of the coins that I think has a use case in, and it's been going like up and down. It's been pretty volatile, but I'm going to put a limit order in on this. So basically if I wanted to buy this, I could do a limit order. So market order, you're going to have a higher fees. And this basically explains this, as soon as the, you pl place the order, it's going to trigger. And so you see the spread is 1.8. If I do a limit order, it's going to be uh, a little bit better than that usually. And then a stop limit is a combination of a stop order and a limit order. So if a price is reached, then, you know, it will look to, uh, to trigger that. If I'm just going in for a limit order, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a buy order and then I can put 50%. This would be half of, you know, my available balance. I have $70 there. This would be $35. Or I could do this and do 100%. And this is the current price. So if I put this in as a buy order, this is pretty close to what it is right now. So it might trigger right away. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting it in a little bit lower than this and hoping that it's going to drop down and be able to, to trigger at a lower rate. Because honestly, if you buy at a lower rate, then your profits are that much bigger when it goes up. So as you see here, this is what I'm, what I'm uh, putting in. And then I'm going to press 100% and I'm going to click buy. So it's placed this order. So what that means is that once it hits that price, it's going to trigger that, that buy. And this could be tomorrow. It could be today. It could be a week from now. That's why you want to be able to go in and uh, cancel your orders if you no longer want that. But it's just a good way to get into the habit of doing this. And with the market, there's tremendous volatility right now. I'm always looking to get cryptocurrencies on the down days because I want to go against the market. And that's, you know, just my personal strategy for doing it. Overall though, Virgo CX is regulated in Ontario. So if you had problems with Binance and you want to have access to a lot of different altcoins, including gaming coins, metaverse coins, DeFi, all those types of things, it's a really good platform. If you do have any questions about using the platform, feel free to hit me up in the description or in the, in, in the comments. In the description, I will put a link to, to the referral code because if you use my referral code, you will be able to get that bonus of that $5 when you create your account and verify it 
and then another fifteen dollars once you've you know funded your account with with a hundred dollars in in funds. So use that link in the description. If you have any questions about Virgo CX, let me know. I also run a newsletter for cryptocurrency. If you want to know what's going on in the world of cryptocurrency, I'll put a link in the description as well to that. And as always, do your own due diligence. Make sure that you know what you're doing and stay safe out there, guys. Anyhow, this is one of the good guys, Virgo CX. I hope to see you in the platform and take it easy. We'll see you next time.